Hi all, we are now discussing trigonometry functions, chapter 3, class 11 maths. In this part, we start from example 16. Example 16. Prove that cos 7x plus cos 5x divided by sin 7x minus sin 5x equal to cotex. Here, numerator is cos 7x plus cos 5x. So, we can use this identity cos x plus cos y equal to 2 cos x plus y by 2 cos x minus y by 2. Here, x is 7x and y is 5x. And the denominator sin 7x minus sin 5x. For that, we use sin x minus sin y. Sin x minus sin y is equal to 2 cos x plus y by 2 sin x minus y by 2. Here x is 7x and y is 5x. Okay. We can write cos 7x plus cos 5x divided by sin 7x minus sin 5x equal to 2 cos 7x plus 5x 12x by 2 cos 7x minus 5x that is 2x by 2 whole divided by sin 7x minus sin 5x that is equal to 2 cos x plus y by 2, 7x plus 5x, 12x by 2 and sin x minus y by 2, sin 7x minus 5x, that is 2x by 2, that is equal to 2 and 2 cancelled. Here, cos 12x by 2 and in denominator cos 12x by 2 is also cancelled. Then the answer is cos 2x by 2 divided by sin 2x by 2. That is equal to 2 and 2 cancelled. We got cos x by sin x. That is equal to cot x, right? We got the result. Okay, thus we complete all examples. Then we discuss exercise 3.3. First question, prove that sin square pi by 6 plus cos square pi by 3 minus tan square pi by 4 equal to minus 1 by 2. First we take LHS. LHS equal to Sin square pi by 6 plus cos square pi by 3 minus tan square pi by 4. We can write this. Sin pi by 6 whole square plus cos pi by 3 whole square minus tan pi by 4 whole square. Then sin pi by 6. Sin pi by 6 is equal to. We know the value that is 1 by 2. So, we can write 1 by 2 the whole square plus cos pi by 3. That is also 1 by 2. We can write 1 by 2 the whole square minus tan pi by 4. That is equal to 1. So, this is 1 square. That is equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 minus 1. That is equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 half. 1 by 2 minus 1 is minus 1 by 2. Thus we got sin square pi by 6 plus cos square pi by 3 minus tan square pi by 4 is equal to minus 1 by 2. Okay. Okay. Second question. 2 sin square pi by 6 plus cos square 7 pi by 6 cos square pi by 3 equal to 3 by 2. Here sin square pi by 6 can be written as sin pi by 6 the whole square and Cosine square 7 pi by 6 can be written as cosine 7 pi by 6 the whole square. 
cos square pi by 3 can be written as cos pi by 3 the whole square. And sin pi by 6, we know the value of sin pi by 6 directly and cos pi by 3 is also familiar. But we don't know cos 6, 7 pi by 6. We want to find out that. In this problem, LHS is equal to 2 sin square pi by 6 plus cos 6 square 7 pi by 6 cos square pi by 3 and RHS is 3 by 2. First we take LHS and in LHS sin square pi by 6 can be written as sin pi by 6 the whole square and we know the value of sin pi by 6 directly and cos 6 square 7 pi by 6 can be written as cos 6 7 pi by 6 the whole square but we don't know this value directly. Cos square pi by 3 can be written as cos pi by 3 the whole square and we know the value cos pi by 3 directly. Cos pi plus pi by 6 equal to minus cos pi by 6. How to get this? Once again, pi plus pi by 6 is the angle in the third quadrant. In the third quadrant, only the tan x and cot x. Tan function and cot functions are positive and the other functions are negative. So, cos pi plus pi by 6 equal to minus cos pi by 6. And minus cos pi by 6 is equal to Cosic pi by 6 is 2. So, minus cosic pi by 6 is minus 2. Okay. Substituting the values of these functions, 2 into sin pi by 6 is 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2 the whole square plus cosic 7 pi by 6 we got minus 2. Minus 2 the whole square into cos pi by 3 is equal to 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2 the whole square. That is equal to 2 into 1 by 4 plus minus 2 square 4 into 1 by 4. That is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1. That is equal to 3 by 2. This RHS. We got the answer. Okay students, in this part we explain three problems. These are very important. Thank you.